Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how to create a liquid text animation inside of After Effects using Fractal Noise. We don't need any third party plugins to create this effect. This is 100% After Effects, looks very cool and very easy to create. So without wasting any more time, let's actually jump into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this Textcom 1920 into 1080 30 FPS and 10 seconds long hit OK. So now I can go ahead and type in any text that I want to type. Now before typing my text, I'll turn on the proportional grid. This is very important and you will see later on why. So I'll type in the same text liquify. align it into the center and make sure your text is within the bounded boxes of the proportional grid. So I'm going to keep it close to this and close to this line. Also, I am using the go bold font. So if you want the, you can download the font from the link in the description below. So that is looking good. Let's go ahead and put this comp into a new comp. So we have the text too. I'm going to just hit control K to bring up the properties and let's rename this to, I'll call this a stretch and hit OK. Now let's create one more composition. I'll call this fractal underscore O1, hit OK. Hit Control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. I'll just call this F of fractal, hit OK. And then also turn off the proportional grid for now and let's add an effect called fractal noise. Now I'm using the FX console to search the effect and I will be using this for the rest of the tutorial. So if you don't have FX console, I'll mention the link down in the description. It's a free after effects script. And in case if you don't want to use that, you can go into windows effects and presets and just type in the effect that you want to use. But for tutorial, I'm going to be using FX console because it helps to speed up the workflow a lot. So yeah. Let's change the fractal type from basic to I'll go with threads and noise type to let's go with maybe spline or let's actually keep it at linear. That looks much better. Let's increase the contrast up maybe somewhere around. Let's go with somewhere around there and bring down the brightness just a touch, maybe something like so and change the overflow to wrap back. So this is the look I want to go for. Let's bring down the complexity to all the way down to one. Go into transform, unlink the uniform scaling and increase the scale width really high. Maybe somewhere around there looks good. And let's also bring down the scaling height to something like that. Okay. So that is looking pretty good. Actually, you can also play around with the brightness and stuff in case if you want to. But yeah, that is looking good. And this fractal noise is going to help us to drive the stretching animation. So let's go back into our stretch comp and drag and drop in the fractal composition on top of our text layer. Let's change the track mat of the text layer to Luma inverted mat. If you don't see the track mat option, you can hit F4 on the keyboard to make it visible. So there we have a track mat. And now what I'm going to do is let's actually go ahead and select the text layer select the rectangle tool and create a mask just like so. That is why we created a proportional grid so that we can create an accurate mask and that is looking pretty good. Let's go at the very beginning, go into the mask feather and increase this really high to around 600, create a keyframe, go to around, let's go to maybe 15 frames and bring this down to 430. Go to one second and bring this down to zero. Then let's go right over here. Select the mask. Hit control T. Actually, let's select the layer. Hit P to bring down the position properties. Create a keyframe. I'll drag that keyframe to around one second. And then select this and drag it just like so. So now we have something like this pretty simple. 
Also, let's animate the opacity as well. So I'll hit T, create a keyframe, go back and set this to zero. Let's select the layer and hit U so we can see all the keyframes as you can see. Let's add an effect called displacement map on this. And in the displacement map layer, I'm going to select the fractal noise that we created. We don't want any vertical displacement. So I'll set this to zero. I'll go at the very beginning and increase the maximum horizontal displacement all the way up to 500. And then I'll go to one second. Oh, make sure you create a keyframe on the maximum horizontal displacement. Go to one second and set this down to zero. So now we have something like this. Pretty simple. Let's go to three seconds. And then I'll select actually, let's select the layer hit U so we can see the, all the keyframes. Select this three keyframes, hit Control C, Control V to copy paste them. Right click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe. So we have the out animation as well, as you can see. Looking good. Let's go on to the fractal layer and add a curves adjustment. There we go. I'll go to one second. Let's actually bring this down. So what I'll do is I'll just tweak this a bit so that we get all the Y shape. And then I can add one more curves. And what I'm going to do is animate the curve so that we, we can reveal the complete text just like so. So let's go to actually maybe 15 frames, create a keyframe, go to one second. And let's bring this down just like so. So if I hit U, you can see we have a very nice and simple animation. That is looking great. Let's select all the layers, hit F9. Also, I'll animate this out. So hit Control C, Control V, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframe. There we go. So we have our in and out animation. Now I'm going to apply the same exact animation on the rest of the text, which is very simple and easy to do. So I'll go to around eight frames forward in time, select both the layers, hit control C, actually hit control D to duplicate them, move them forward to eight frames. And then I'll go right over here, select the text, hit M to see the mask, select the mask, hit control T. And then holding shift, I can drag this mask just like so. So you can zoom in just to be a bit more precise. You can also turn off the proportional grid grid. And there you go. So now we have something like this. So now you can get the idea of what I am going for. Let's select this again, hit control D to duplicate that go eight frames forward in time. So hit page down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and move this forward just like so. Let's go right here, select this layer, hit M, select the mask, hit control T and holding shift. I can just, you know, drag this out. Now let's actually bring up the proportional grid so that we can be very precise with this. And yeah, that is looking good. Let's select this again, hit control D and the same exact process. And there we go. There we have our complete text animation ready. This is looking pretty cool. You can see there is a bit problem in this section. So I can just select the mask hit control T again and just move this a bit to the right using the arrow keys. And that is looking perfect. So we have our in animation and then we have our out animation. Very, very nice. Let's drag this composition and create a new comp. So we have the stretch two. Now let's create a new fractal noise. So let's create a new composition called this fractal underscore O2. Hit OK. Hit Control Y to create a new solid. Call this BG or maybe F or whatever that you want to call it and add a fractal noise on this one. Let's change the fractal type to small bumps and bring and change the noise type to let's go with maybe spline and I'll just increase the contrast a bit, maybe somewhere around. Let's go with actually invert this and I'll 
maybe somewhere set to 250 or something like that bring down the brightness as well something like that looks good and set this to wrap back again for the complexity i set this to 2 and everything is looking good let's go into transform and maybe bring down the scale a bit to around 70 okay that is looking great we can bring down this one a bit okay something like this is looking good yeah that looks good for now let's go into the stretch 2 and drag and drop in the fractal fractal 2 on the top of the stretch change the blending mode of the stretch to alpha matte so we have a nice text reveal now let's go ahead and select this layer and add an effect called echo let's set this to minus 0 0.008 because i uh, I came up with this property that works pretty good with this particular effect. Let's increase the number of echoes to around, let's go 20. And everything else looks good. I think I'll change the echo operator and set this to composite in back. And yep, that is looking great. Let's go ahead and add a turbulence displace on this to add a nice, you know, wavy animation. Let's move the time indicator at the very beginning and increase the amount of turbulent displays to 100. Create a keyframe. Go to around maybe 2 second and 10 frames and set this to maybe somewhere around 20. Yep, that is a bit too much. I'll go with 16, I think. Yep, that looks much better. Bring down the size to around 50. And everything else looks good. I don't think we need to tweak anything else. Let's see what we have actually. You see a really cool look already. Let's go ahead and add a fast blur to this. And set this to around 25. And finally, I'm going to add a matte choker. Let's increase the geometric softness to around 10. And bring down the choke to 50. That should look good. Yep. And everything else is looking good. Maybe increase the iteration to 2. Or maybe let's go with 3. Yeah, that looks much better. And right off the bat, if I just preview this. You can see this is looking pretty cool. Now, in case if you don't uh, like the way it animates, what you can do is you can always head on to the fractal noise and tweak the settings a bit. So maybe I'll bring that down to around 250. And this one to 12. That looks good. Let's go into stretch 2. And you can see the difference in the animation. As you can see, we get a nice liquidy stretch effect. But we're not done yet. So let's create a new composition actually called this liquid effect. And drag and drop the stretch to animation that we have. That is the final animation. Let's hit control Y and add a background. I'll keep it white. Let's put this below. And now what I can do is let's go actually somewhere around there. Select this hit control D to duplicate it. I'll bring down the size of the second one to around 98 and then add a fill to this. Make it a bit darker to add a little bit of depth as you can see let's create one more hit control d select the third one and set this to 96 and then what i can do is i can move them maybe three frames forward so i'll move this one three frames forward and then move this one three frames forward now the effect is a bit heavy on the system so it may take a while to render so as you can see it's looking super cool. Now, in case if you want to add more details into the liquidy effect, what you can do is let's go inside this and we can go into fractal one. We can play around with the complexity. Also, I can go into fractal two and maybe increase the complexity a bit. Let's see how we get the effect. And as you can see, if I just preview this, now we have much more detail into the liquids. So you can tweak the fractal noise because all the animation is driven through the fractal noise. So the more you tweak it, you can come up with a really nice and cool looking effect.
so yeah that is looking super cool let's actually delete the background for now create a main comp call this main hit okay drag and drop in the liquid effect and add an optics compensation on this so actually make it something like so just because i think this looks pretty cool let's hit control y pg for background and there we go there we have our nice liquidy effect but as i told you it's a bit heavy so let's actually um pre-render this So as you can see, we get a really interesting liquid text animation effect using just the fractal noise. And I think this is looking much better than the preview that I showed you at the beginning. Very cool. Again, if you are, if I, as I told you, if you are, want to add some more detail, you can always go into the fractal noise. You can, you know, adjust this, maybe increase the size and do whatnot. So if I go into fractal one, I can, you know, tweak this actually. Let's see if we can add more detail. Yep, as you can see. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Also, make sure to download the free project file from the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.